Thank you very, very much. All right, Mark Serrano with us right now on how the budget could hit taxpayers. Um, Mark, I've heard from a number of conservatives who don't like this. They say that uh, Republicans are ceding a lot of ground here. They're very angry at Paul Ryan. Obviously, Ryan trying to use this as an opportunity to get all the impediments out of the way, focus on, 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 on keeping the attention, on getting a Republican elected president. You know the whole drill. Um, what do you make of it? It's still more of the same. I mean, I don't really see much difference from John Boehner. In fact, you know, we ought to call uh, Paul Ryan John Paul Ryan uh, because this is really the problem that, that conservatives and far-left liberals have, with, which is backroom deals uh, done in the dark of the night. And so you've got this 2,000-page two page bill that was released in the middle of the night. And so Paul Ryan is not reforming well, Washington wait, 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 whatsoever. Wait, 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 wait. I, I understand your passionate views, but if you're getting rid of all of these onerous provisions and taxes attached to Obamacare, including the device tax, including the Cadillac tax, including the stuff that I know you have said on this very show you find, you know, uh, so cumbersome and annoying, uh, well, he's dealt with that. Well, because what we need is dramatic reform. You know, these are great. So these are these are pluses that the Republicans in Congress will uh, point out. And, uh, you know, it, but it's not really going to quiet the storm that's taking place across the GOP electorate throughout this campaign cycle. But, it, know, will, but it will. It will avoid a shutdown, which I know a lot of people worry about. And it will at least give an opportunity for Ryan and others to come back and say, well, I got rid of these onerous provisions one step at a time. I can't. I, I can't get a revolution going overnight, but this right. is a great start. You say to that what? I say that Paul Ryan himself said this is not the way government should work. He, that's his quote from yesterday. This is not the way government should work. And so the problem is, are the optics and the way that this deal was cut. It just emboldens the White House. So, you know, heaven forbid we have a Democrat in the White House two years from now. This is just going to keep being pushed onto taxpayers. And, you know, right now they're uh, with What would 18... specifically be pushed on the taxpayers? So, right, well, uh, we're going to have to pay for these, you know, $66 billion in, in deficits. I mean, if this was a good deal, then it would be even. We wouldn't have any deficit, additional deficit coming out of this. But, you know, it's just ho-hum out of Washington. $66 billion is no big deal because we got all these tax cut provisions. We shouldn't have $66 billion more in deficit spending. So that's the problem is it gets pushed off on taxpayers long term. And it's, so it's kind of like the frog, that, you know, that swims around in the in the pot with the water boiling just very gradually. No, no, he doesn't see, notice. Is a, yeah, the frog, he doesn't still, notice frog it. still ends up dead. Very good right, point. Right, exactly. You're the only one who's used that analogy when it comes to the, <laughs> the budget process. To, it's touche to you. Um, I, you know, I, I know you are going with your family to Universal, and um, you have probably heard these uh, plans that a lot of the theme parks across the country have taken to boost the metal detectors, security presence. Um, what do you think? Well, uh, I'm glad. I think they should. I'm surprised they hadn't done it uh, earlier. I think it makes sense uh, to just check people at the gate because, you know, look, a swarm of people could, could very well be a target these days. Um, and so I, I think it's a good move. I, I think these are measures that a lot of uh, entertainment sites and, and sites where there are, you know, thousands of people entering, uh, I think they're wise. I, I don't know if they are tipped off to my arrival, and, and that's the source of this. That could definitely do it. But I, I, I don't know what your personal proclivities are, but I, I should brace you for the fact that if you're over 14, you cannot wear a costume. Well, I had my uh, Charlie Gasparino ma uh, mask in my bag. I that guess would I'll shut just, down a theme park. Right? right I'll right just there. have to leave that uh, yeah. behind. You know, that was my plan. All right. Look, <laughs> I, I, I do hope you have a very, very safe <laughs> trip, a very safe and a special Christmas. You're a great Thanks, guest Neil. and a great friend of the show. Merry Christmas. Thank you very, very much. I'll send Thank Paul you, Ryan your best. All right. <laughs>